All right, people, welcome back. More the endo commentary. So we are joined by Stanzi. Hello, everyone. And uh, you kind of missed a little bit of it, but not too much. We have Envoy. Uh, he set a load of shit. He played card of the mice. He set some more shit, and he pitched like a mirror force and something else, basically. Uh, Chaos Trample. Uh, Envoy, was that, 19? Yeah, that's 19. Envoy, 19, and then 71, and Sinjura at 12.08. And uh, yeah, just set four cards. Uh, card of demise, card draw demise. to three, set one, then pitch it. So, no, we haven't seen any monsters at Envoy, but who cares? Because card of demise, right? Hey, that's that card I just mentioned to you in, um, fucking, you know when you did the card review for that new fusion? I was like, yeah, as soon as I saw that, I was like, um, Paradise Magicians bust this card out super easily. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Sky Iris just tribute one of your fucking pendulum monsters oh search out odd eyes fusion oh so pendulum summon the two up like odd eyes then go oh i'll use odd eyes fusion because it says dragon type mon fusion monster it happens as long as you got them two darks and there's a nice chunk of darks in there you know and uh yeah i'm Easy. surprised mao considering how much mao usually has played that deck i fell off from it you know because it just got too overplayed but i'm surprised mao didn't you know jesus Ooh. christ for a epic's favorite card yeah <laughs> I'm, 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 if I ever get Forever Epic's address, I'm going to send him a monkey board. You just send him a butt ton of monkey boards. Send him like, yes. like a, just a hundred. Send him like 50. Send him like 50 fucking monkey boards. Be like, here you go. Yeah, I mean, you got Skullcar Red Joker. He's dark. And is Sorcerer dark too? Um, or is he Earth? Sorcerer is dark. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he'll probably end up searching for him right now because Sorcerer is just so freaking good. So. You know, sorcerer, sorcerer probably needs. Yeah, sorcerer needs to get hit. Sorcerer needs to get hit. Uh, it's his earth. Okay. Sorcerer, sorcerer is a little bit ridiculous too. With uh, he's another you know multiple pendulum scale searcher. His his effect actually got fucking better with his errata, not worse. Yeah, yeah. Because it went thing. it went from monsters to cards. Well, uh, I think I think we knew it as that. But I think it was just an error in the writing, and then you know, instead of and now like ghetto debate. translation before they confirmed translation. Yeah. So, but you know, he's still great. You know, you know, there's a lot of things that need to be cleared up. Uh, I th I'm, I'm gonna say that there's probably gonna be a list. I'm gonna I'm gonna predict that that the list is gonna be late July, early, early August, right after it's... nationals, before worlds. Probably just a little bit of cleanup. Right before we go into worlds, like what they did last year. This man is playing like every mirror force. He's got Ooh. regular mirror force, blazing. Yeah, he's force. playing the traps. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Adai's fusion looks pretty cool on here. <laughs> it does. I like the uh, the secret rare art of it. But nice and expensive. Is it? Oh god. Forty plus. For an Adai's fusion. Mm -hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not even meta. So. It's not even fucking so? matter. <laughs> yeah, but I said I think that uh I think that um early early uh early, I mean late late July, early August is the time. And you know, I usually put my list oh. I'm maybe maybe I might put it on my birthday, put it up on my birthday. It's like this this is gonna be a really hard prediction just because it's probably gonna be a list outside of the norm. He's, in, he's playing he's going super douche. Maybe he's doing that dude. monster he's summoned. Mm -hmm. Super douche. Like oh my god, earth this guy runs earth monsters, you know, with his pendulums. He can then just be like pendulum summon an earth. Fuck you. Damn, that eccentric that eccentric's putting that work. Yes, she is. Okay. All right, move all them counters. Grab, I guess, sorcerer. I mean, he's Earth. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Uh, yeah, fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. Get wrecked. <laughs> exactly what you need right now. Like, like, like the guy over here, at Envoy, is just anti over here. Sinjura is just anti. Yeah. Oh, and that and that warning, nice one, number generator. Mm. Shout out to you. <laughs> so I've been abusing the number generator so much in, in my fucking Shiranui uh zombies like oh one terraforming, one zombie world. <laughs> what I even put you know that um planet Pathfinder, I even put one of him in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm gonna get one of them, don't worry. <laughs> what, Played one, planet Pathfinder one instant in the... fusion. Like, yes. Yeah, one is the fusion. I played Planet Pathfinder and uh, in Kaiju's. 
Like, you know what I, really card I have discovered something. is actually really good in that deck, especially if you're running the Shiranui Sage engine. Mm -hmm. Goblin Zombie. Because then if he if you draw in if you open ass, like you don't open your uh, sage and you draw him, just set him, gets if he gets killed with battle or blown up by a dark hole slash regeki, you get a search of sage. If he's used as a synchro material, then when it's left it leaves the field, you get a search, you get another sage. Yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, he's using he's using uh Sky Iris to pop the the village. I mean, I there's really the nothing to, there's draw. nothing for me to really talk about. It's like pendulums. No, pendulums I mean, it's, never change. It's pendulums while well, Envoy over here is getting straight up this hatred and that's what that's another and step that, yeah. But uh yeah, I'm not sure. June is, June, June, June is a big month for me, you know. Not only is this my birthday, it's also a channel anniversary, so anniversary, so I might want to get back with maybe maybe my prediction. I generally do it a month ahead and since I predict it will be late July, early August, I mean that'll be a pretty good time to get out. It's pretty much a dry spell when it comes to anything banless related, so June might be a good time to go ahead and get the ball rolling. But uh, like I said, it's not. I think it's not going to be a list that has to do anything too much with the meta, or correcting what's going on. I think in it would just be sort of a general cleanup list. Yeah, like a, general. Little, a little clean up here and there for worlds. Yep, yep. So that's, a, that's definitely going to be a little Ooh, bit. Oh damn! Envoy's like, man, fuck you, Sky, Sky, bitch. Like, okay, okay. And then the, yeah, and then the guy like does a hope and he's like, play Sky Iris. What? You didn't say Sky Iris. You just said Sky. <laughs> And, uh, oh, I was going to say, and last card, go ahead and play it. Uh, you know, card of mine is getting a little bit, mm, man, I mean, card it's a plus problem. two. It's a fucking plus two. You can't special summon and you lose the cards that you use, but who cares? You, get, you go plus two. Yeah, it makes slower decks a lot faster. It make, I mean, when we, I think when we saw it and played in Cosmos, I think that might be, like, the last straw. That might be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Like, oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> And then you got Painful Decision acting as a sort of pseudo, um, what's that quick play for the Dragon, uh, for the Draco Slayers, what's that? Draco Connection? Draco Face-Off? Draco Face-Off. Face -off. So, so yeah, it's acting like a sort of pseudo Draco Face-Off. Hey, as long as it's not a monster, it's like that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Twin Twist does. Yeah. Oh, ban it! Cool. Ban it immediately. So it's like, is that why you kept it in your hand? <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, that oh, Fog Blade. Fog Blade. Crack those two. Mm -hmm. I mean, Cinder is probably gonna have plays out the blight. It's just, can your anti meta hold him down? I mean, that, that kind of hurt. That kind of hurt. Oh, it's just it gonna did. summon Master and poke you? 1950? I mean, alright. No D prison? No D prison. Oh. But uh, yeah, when I saw that card in the and Cosmos, I was like, oh. <laughs> oh dear god, right, here just, we go. Uh huh, it's supposed to be meant for the slower deck. Like, what's next? We're gonna be seen in freaking. You know, monarchs two. and shit. I mean, yeah, really, really, it's just ridiculous. Like, it, it is. could, it's, it could be strong. It has potential to be stronger than Pot of Greed. I mean, it's, you know, it's stronger than. Fucking. It's like technically, if you want to think about it, it's stronger than Graceful Charity. Think about it. Graceful Charity, you play it, you draw three. Okay, you don't draw three, but I mean, Graceful Charity, you even out from it. That you go plus two. And sure, you don't keep the cards in your hand, but guess what? If you don't, if you want, like, monsters, certain monsters in the graveyard, just fucking leave them, and they go to the grave, like a Graceful Charity you don't sell at your graveyard. Mm -hmm. so. It's stronger than Graceful Charity, in my opinion. Oh, damn. It depends on what well, you do with the cards. In a world Twin Twister, this man plays MST. Yeah, hey. Hey, who cares? Oh, yeah. He's got MST, he's got Twin Twister, he's got... He probably main decks one of the two, and then side decks the other one, because it's just fuck the shenanigans, and... That was the easy way to handle it, so. Mmm. Alright, we'll get another duel. We're right back. Alright. Uh, we got Sinjura again. And now, at, uh, 1239, uh, we're in Guardian Light, and he looks like he's main deck an MST. The Guardian Light just set his warning. Nah, MST. And now we proceed to go off. Like, alright. <laughs> you know what? You know what's actually interesting? What? Is I think that terraforming could have the potential to possibly be hit. Due to the just amount of field spells that are coming out that are so good, rather than hitting a ton of field spells, you hit the search card for the all those field spells and terraforming. 
that could be an interesting topic to talk over. Like what? Well, think about it. You've got Sky Iris, you've got Cosmo Town, you've got Kaiju Waterfront, you've got fucking Ritual Sanctuary coming out. You've got all these field spells that are really fucking good, and they all get searched by terraforming. And I think that if it's you know, not meta, it's, it's not going to. I know if it's not meta, but if it starts becoming a problem, Konami might just be like, you know what? Terraforming. Uh, I don't think Fuck this it. upcoming list. This no, upcoming list. Talk about this list. upcoming list. I'm th I'm talking maybe like two or three lists, not this fucking list. Yeah, this yeah. list, uh, uh, of course, uh, definitely some monarch hits. That's given. That's given. Monarchs are getting hit. Like there's there's in the, that that's a given. Nah, they're gonna stay on band forever. They're gonna stay full so, strength. So monarchs are gonna get hit. Um, uh, probably probably some burning abyss hits. Definitely some burning abyss hits. They're gonna get kicked in the mouth. So. We'll go ahead and see what they do with that, whether it be just bringing them down to OCG level or actually doing their own individual hits, but yeah. Um, so what, do you think, so you think Konami are going to go after Burning Abyss or Phantom Knights? Burning or Abyss. Both? Burning Abyss. And they're going to leave like the Phantom Knights alone, or do you think they're going to Yeah, I think they're probably going to leave Phantom Knights alone. I think they're going to leave Phantom Knights alone. Yeah, so Burning Abyss are probably going to get it. Uh, the thing is, is that since this is a list that has to do with worlds, yeah, they can't I can't hit it too hard. I, 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 I see. What? Worlds. Well, as oh. I said, I, the hits that I wouldn't be surprised if the hits that they do are just uh, OCG related, like bringing them down to OCG to even ground, or or maybe like their own specific individual hits. Uh, probably don't see too much cleanup, of course. Yeah, and then someone get jump game bitch uh, done. Uh, yep, GG. You know, like, I can definitely, for example, I can definitely see Dante going down to one. Uh, I can definitely see, uh, you know, Emergency Teleport going down to one. But, like, direct hits to Cosmos, I don't see. No. There's just no no reason for them to do it. You know? You know? Outside of just, you know, bringing them down to OCG or more indirect hits. But, uh, uh, indirect hits, I can easily see, you know, Cosmos just skating by this list for January, unscathed, maybe, and then... I can see that maybe Solemn Strike will be hit this list, maybe. I don't yeah. know if they would, or if they wouldn't, because it's like, OCG haven't had the yet. No, they? but they're a more aggressive game, you know. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we I can would see, yet, I can see, I can it's see been out for a list. It's been out for a list at three now, it's 5-1 list, but it's like, would you really want to be like, put it I, down I think it's about time, I think it's about time. I yeah, well, they've also them. got to take worlds into consideration and be like, well, if we put it down to one, that means the OCG guys can't use it, you know? So. I think that's fantastic. I don't want to see everybody spamming Solemn Strike at worlds. Mm. Yeah. I could I could possibly see them hit Solemn Strike to one and Twin Force Ship it two. Oh, there we are. Yeah. See? You know, that no, fucking no, no, no back Draco yeah. face off. Mm hmm. Knowing the back row to, uh, to uh, back row hate ratio. Mm. So, there's a lot of things, you know. Card demise definitely. Card demise is. I think card demise is debatable, but I, I think it probably should be banned. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't even have the potential yeah. to be able to I mean, bust a card out like you, that. I don't see how you can have card demise at three and then graceful charity banned and be like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, like I like you try to make these restrictions, these balanced versions, but still they end I up know, being. Oh, you can't this, special like, summon. Okay. Yeah, who cares? Like I'm gonna go ahead and fucking plus freaking two. You know, fucking zombies are zombies are crazy. Fucking it. card. You zombies know, it's like sure I gotta take it slow for a turn, but it's just like you pretty much made fucking uh card card D obsolete. Like they're why the fuck play card card D when you just play. Do you know what? It's actually funny that you say that. Before Card of Demise, and before I tested it out in my Ghost Tricks, I was running Card Card D because it was a good card. It was a plus one, gets you deeper into your deck, faster to your field spell, which is very important in Ghost Tricks. And, more importantly, it left you wide open so your shit like Rippling Mirror Forces and that could, you know, still go off because you were getting directly attacked and your Ghost Tricks are activated when you're directly attacked or. Mary, when you take damage, that wouldn't be interfered by Card Card D. So I used Card Card D. Card Demise came out. I tried Card Demise over Card Card D. Not tr I've Card Card D's out now. Card Card D is out because it's mm -hmm. just like it gets me deeper into my deck and Ghost Trick. So I'm running shit like Rippling Mirror Force, Endless Trap Hole. You know, I'm running fucking uh, Solemn Warning. I'm not running Strike. You know, so it gets me deeper into my Damn. back row. Deeper to my feelings. We might have now. to continue this conversation with another duel because Sinjuro yeah. won again. He's just ripping it up with pendulums. Alright, right, we'll be right back once again. Uh, 
Oh, fuck my life. Yeah. No, no, not fuck your life. I can Cosmos. Let's go. All right, people. I actually had shit to do. I, that's a lie. That's a filthy lie. <laughs> we got Samuel's DC 97 at 1294 and Renya Rio. Rio? 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 I think you, I think you went full retarded there. <laughs> Ren, retarded. Ren you. Uh, <laughs> but no, yeah, you know, I get your point because think about it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna take it in a perfect situation, perfect great case situation. Well, of course, your argument for uh, for greater charity is like you just play it whenever you know whether I have no cards in my hand, one card in my hand, what if I need special summon, special summon, you could, summon uh, yeah, you can do whatever. The fuck out of it, and then yeah, be that's very powerful, very powerful argument. Yes, it deserves to be banned. But in a base, best case scenario, and we're talking about card demise, where you especially in taking into into well, a case of whether I'm not going to special summon or I'm playing a solar deck for example, and I'm playing the cosmos. Yeah, I can go ahead and set uh, play more traps, set more. You know, which means name decking more traps. So yay, more hate. Uh, summon that tin can. I wasn't planning to special summon anyway. You know, there's been a handful of times where you just play Cosm, especially going first, and all you want to do is just get that that uh, that tin can set up play. You know, play card demise. You put and using one card to draw into three. And now the end result, of course, graceful charity you even out, which means that you're going to play graceful charity, draw three, this card two. So you're getting three. You're getting three cards deep into your deck for three cards. I mean, the main argument, just to sort of interrupt you, the main argument why graceful charity was well is broken is because you send cards to the graveyard you know to set up your graveyard for shit however mm -hmm. that's exactly what card of demise does yeah yeah so so <laughs> so it does exactly three, the main you draw thing deeper about into the three so you draw three pitch three you even out card of demise you play it you draw three and in a best case scenario, you're drawing three. So you go you have plus it. two off a card so of demise. Plus two. And play at cards. minimum to equal to to a graceful charity, you would have to pitch discard two of the cards that you drew out of the three. But you don't necessarily have to do that. You could freaking set the two cards, and then there you go. You keep two of them cards. That's yep. better than graceful charity. Yep. I mean, I guess the only hole in your the only hole in your argument there is if you have like a card in hand or two cards in a hand when you play the thing and then you just draw one or draw two but just the potential in itself yeah if oh, you yeah. draw one that you even out that's great that's a fucking if you stuff. draw two, two that's a pot of green. green that's great if you draw three then that's just a whole nother beast and especially what you do with the card that's a whole nother beast that's, that shouldn't even be in the game if you go <laughs> like i, I get i, I get they want to put these that. all these little restrictions and are like yeah they're definitely not going to play this card but you pretty much said hey draw three Draw three in Yu-Gi-Oh! Are you on crack? Like, that's crazy! Like, I know. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh's never I mean, been that kind of game, and, you know, right? Right then and there, there's this kind of ridiculous... It's getting Pokemon levels. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah I, could, I could see that but, card getting banned. I definitely could exactly see that card getting earlier, banned. Exactly as I was saying earlier about Ghost Tricks, yeah, I mean, I, I literally... You said about, oh, how it's replaced Card Card D. It literally, in my Ghost Trick deck, has replaced Card Card D. I ran Card Card D at three because it was a card that got me deeper into my deck to get me to my field spell faster and it also left me open to direct attacks for my rippling mirror forces uh taking damage for ghost trick mary direct attacks for jack frost it you know helped me set up even further but i tried swapped out card card for card demise it's even better because it gets me further into my deck I've altered my deck now to play a little bit more bat row, so it gets me more nasty bat row like my Ripley Mirror Forces, Endless Trap Holes, and Solemn and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And it still gives me the exact same advantage that Card Card D had, but leaves me, you know, open for my Ripley Mirror Forces. The only downside for me with uh, Card Demise over Card Card D and Ghost Tricks is that. Okay, I can't have a monster in hand, obviously, because it's going to go to the graveyard. So I can't do what I would do sometimes with Card Card D, which would be, okay, I've got like a Mary in hand, so when you direct attack me, I'll just take the damage, Mary to the grave, get that ghost straight straight out of the deck, or Jack Frost, you attack me, I sit you down with Jack Frost, <clears throat> or, you know, Vanish set, and I've got Jack Frost slash Mary or any other ghost trick, I can reveal it if you're going to try and blow my field spell up or something like that. So I can't do that anymore, but it just gets me deeper into my deck, and that's great. 
and it gets me that field spell right there where card card D, I had to, if I drew it off those cards with card card D on the end phase, I had to wait till next turn to play it. If I draw it off card demise, I can play it immediately. Sorry, I ran too fast, sorry. No, it's fine. I get your point, you know. But yeah, so, so it's like okay, I I get a it's slight. Just, it's just it's Konami. It's like they they. It seems like they want to do some draw cards. You know, they're like, hey, draw cards. We can we can do this if we just put enough restrictions. And then Yu-Gi-Oh cards are like, I don't care about your restrictions. I don't care about your drawbacks. I don't give a fuck. I want to draw. And draw. then and then these cards. What happens to these cards? They end up getting hit. They end up getting banned. It's like, hey, we got I'm, this filled spell. You know, you pay a thousand and draw. Your opponent pays a thousand and draw. It's kind of like a little bit back and forth. How's that sound? No, banned. All right, well, yeah. how about this card where you give your opponent 1,000 life points? You don't want to do that, and you're only going to draw one card. How's that? So you're going to no. even out and give them life points. <laughs> no, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's a trap card, so it's slow. You activate it, you draw two, but then you skip your next two draw phases. I mean, come on, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know, card of demise, cloudy card... community, it's like all these cards. <laughs> One card I'm surprised hasn't actually got a lot of, um, oh, your son's here, Hudson's here. No. <laughs> My boy. He's stalking you. My boy. <laughs> like, yeah, but one card I'm surprised that hasn't actually been played too much is uh, that trap version of, um, fuck, I forget it. It's a, it's one of the Draw top of cards. It's, yeah, it's like the trap version of Jar of Avarice, where you know you play it and you no, just shuffle no. five it is, cards. No, it is Jar of Avarice. Pot oh, of Avarice is. is the card oh, you're thinking of. Yeah, is. Jar of yeah. Avarice. Take uh, take five, take five cards. Not even five monsters. Yeah, like that's card, what I mean. Yeah. Cards, take and then you cards. draw two. Yeah, but then you know the, that's your argument. You even out. So if I wanted to even out, you know, of course, uh, I could just play you like plus off. You plus off uh, Jar because you draw two. I'm sure. No, you draw one. Is it, well, even even so, you get yeah. all you've yeah. But if I see, deck. but if I wanted to do that, and especially since the trap card is slow, if I wanted to do that, I could play. You know, with upstart being at one, I could play. Uh, you know, Yada, or I could play Jar of Greed. You know, just that one for one. That's slow, like a trap card. But then you also got to think. I'm taking five cards in my graveyard and putting them back in my deck. That makes my deck thicker, which means that I have a less likely chance of getting to the cards that I want because I just shuffle cards that I've already used back into my deck. No. That's true. Now, I'm when thinking, you now with, with Pot of Avarice, Pot around. of Avarice, the incentive was especially back in its, in its era when it's synchro time, where you would want to you know recycle those cards. Sometimes it was kind of eh, but still you're, you're you're going plus off of that. You know if you yeah. can go ahead and take them five monsters, put it back. That's Pot of Greed. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good though for pendulums. Like you know when you get your solemn, uh, you get solemned off your pendulum or something. Just like oh well, fucking just put them back in the fucking deck and draw. You know it's not terrible. <laughs> Yeah, but then you could argue, well, I'm Pendulums, and I'm probably going to run fours. I could just do that Goose Drum roll. Mm. Who's an 18-beater, much quicker to act, uh, easier to access, because he's always in my extra deck. And that, and I don't have to, it doesn't have to be five cards. It just be, you know, three three monsters. You know, just put them back, draw. So. Yeah. There are a lot of cards that I could, that, you know, when you look at them, you could be like, well, I don't, don't know why Isn't there a card, card similar to that? Jar of something. And it was like... Three different, three different type of monsters shuffle them back. Let me have a look. Huh? Oh yeah, Duplicity. That was it. I completely forgot about that. Everybody forgot about that card. Yeah. Is so, that what I was thinking of? No, you were thinking of Jar of so you got that right. But we remember uh, Duplicity. No one remembers Duplicity. No. Yeah. Look up. Look up Duplicity. Right. Mm-hmm. We're not even paying attention to the duels. They're just doing nope, it. We're just, we it's really just a discussion just like, about We're just cards. kicking the shit out of each other. Like, oh, all right, cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I can't without leaving, and it's not on. I don't know what it is on Dev Pro. I think it got a name change. It? A dichotomy? It's duplicity or dichotomy. Uh, dichotomy. You start main phase one, target three months of different types in the grave, shuffle all three into the deck, then draw two. Yep. You cannot conduct your battle phase. Yeah, yeah. There you go, but then... Right, that card didn't get employed. Yeah, but start of your main phase one, you know, can't conduct your battle phase, so... Yeah, I guess. I mean, it, it is a part of the you know, you it, shuffle it's, three... It's, but... a, it's a good mid-game card. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but it probably that started in main phase one. Mm-hmm. Because unlike her game, uh, uh, Carter and Demise, where I could just play it whenever i just be like oh set all my cards in hand that has to be the first thing you know yeah so. 
but yeah. Oh so. yeah, Mr. Cosmo's here. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we are on our end, we're like, um, uh, freaking, uh, Cardamite's band, and OCG is like, part of, <laughs> part of cupidity band, like, just these draw cards, man. It's just like, yeah. th th there's not a lot of free reign. There's not a lot of free reign. You gotta, gotta equate that perfect risk versus reward, and you think that you would have had it with the, uh, with the, uh, with Fucking the upstart card and... demise and shit, but no. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> so like, you look at it and you're like, oh my god, that's so shit. I can't special summon. I can't do anything, and you know, oh. And then you're just like, okay. oh yeah, I can just like. Set I can set the card, which means more back row. You know, uh, shit. Fuck it. I wasn't playing too much back row, but now let me go ahead and freaking uh, uh, throw in. Uh, you know, Chaos Trap Hole and shit. Why not? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Solemn Warning, Chaos Trap Hole, Grand Horn of Heaven. Let me just go ahead and stop you from just fucking doing anything. Yeah, I'm just going to stop you from playing and then I'm going to wreck you. Oh, I was, I was thinking he was about to do, like, card noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay. And you're real quick. I guess he was like, fuck it, he, ha he can get me. I mean, yeah, with that like, Cosmo gem, that would definitely fuck him up, you know, it's yeah, definitely... Yeah, just get rid of that. Well, you already know how great that card is, but Cosmo, the Solemn, the Solemn Brigade. You're called the Haunted, and then just throwing more trap cards, throwing some Oasis's, why not? You know, you're gonna pitch the monsters to the graveyard anyway. Yep. So, yeah. Like, what's next? We're gonna be seeing it in Monarchs? We're gonna be seeing it in Burning Abyss? Would not be surprised. Would, I mean, of course, Burning Abyss would have to lower their monster count. Yeah. You know, PK Fire and Burning Abyss would definitely have to lower their monster count a little bit. Set a whole bunch of back rows, set the Fog Blades, set that sword, set this, set that, you know, play it, draw into it. And, you know, whether I've set more back row or just pitch my my uh, my Burning Abyss or my uh, Phantom Knights, I'm still good. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so that card's probably going to have to get banned. And yeah. really, I really, at, 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 at the top of my mind, that's probably the only card that needs to be banned at this point. Yeah, I, it's I, would kind of love for, I would love for Norton to be banned, but he didn't do anything, so. So, it's probably just that off the top of my mind. Anyway, we're done, we're done. So people, in the comment section below, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about Cardamize. Do you think, you know, it's, it's fine, keep it at three, or yeah, it's gonna have to get banned, or maybe limited, well, you know, go ahead and tell me. Uh, but like I said, I'm thinking about- I don't think the... semi-limited, that'd be pointless. No, no, I didn't say semi-limited, I, like, oh, I, I, I said, I said, I said, three, one, or ban. There's no two. Yeah, like, there uh, that's not even, that's not even really a choice, so, uh. Uh, go ahead in the comment section below. Go ahead and tell me what you guys think. Uh, I will be working on banish predictions. So we'll probably have to do the the final balance discussion probably next week because we're already into this week. So next week, and uh, yeah, I'll probably put it sometime in June. And then uh, still working on the Yu-Gi-Oh tier draft league. That since we're getting into the summertime, so yeah. All right. Still working on it. Yeah. So thank you, Stanley, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, discussion and uh, yeah see you guys on Thursday with some more Daniel commentary thanks for watching